welcome to another episode of TM3 Life. Today, we're going to do something that you shouldn't do. Tesla's called dyno mode. So dyno mode actually disables all of the electronic nanny. So that's uh, emergency braking, stability control, traction control, pretty much everything that's going to save you from having an accident. So I should begin this video by saying please don't do this unless you are in a controlled environment and also if you are experienced in messing around or drifting cars that have no electronic nannies to help you in case you get in trouble. I do have experience with drifting cars, so we will try today to drift this dual motor Model 3. It is currently 17 degrees Fahrenheit outside. We just had a storm here in Vermont with dropped about 10 inches of snow. We're in this beautiful, big, empty parking lot with no other vehicles or any curbs or anything like that around that should cause us any issues. I do hope that I'll be able to figure this out. Remember, these cars are extremely powerful. This car puts down about 400 horsepower and a, over 500 foot-pounds of torque. So uh, controlling this vehicle into a controlled drift within a circle will, might be a little bit challenging with all that instantaneous torque right on demand. So let's see how I do today. We'll see if we can get some good drifts in and we'll see if it's actually even possible or how hard it really is. So let's give it a try and we'll see what happens. Okay, first things first, what we're gonna do is put it into dyno mode. To put it into dyno mode, we hold down the left directional, and we keep it held down, and we press the Tesla T at the top of the screen until it flashes, and then we have to put in the password, which while holding down still the directional stuck, dyno, test okay there we go we can now let go of the stock up here on the screen it does say trash control disabled and if we look at all the warnings we have trash control disabled stability control disabled dyno mode enabled automatic emergency braking is disabled and i have one little error here that's just something that I haven't taken care of with service yet, which is my charge port may not open when pressed. I think it's that little piece of plastic is missing. So that is everything. Right now this car is completely nanny proof and let's see how hard it is to get this car into a drift. So let's go ahead and see what kind of torque this car has and see what we can do. Do that again.
let's see if we can do a full donut. Okay, so with all the experience that I've had in the past of drifting cars and auto X and hill climbs and everything like that, all my experience has been in internal combustion engine cars. This is my first time playing around with a battery electric vehicle with all that torque available to you instantaneously. What I can tell you is, well, yes, the dual motor cars <laughs> will indeed drift. And frankly, I think it's a lot easier to modulate. Um, I don't know, it was very, very easy. Uh, I felt, again, this is something that I've done in the past, this is not new, but I, I, this is my first time ever doing it with a battery electric vehicle and a dual motor battery electric vehicle. It went very well, I was able to easily control the vehicle. Now again, with that being said, this is not something that you should do, certainly not on public roads, and you should make sure to take it back out of dyno mode when you're done playing around, if you feel you need to play around. But if you're gonna do this, please do this on a private uh, closed course um, where you're not gonna endanger um, anybody else, and also in a location where you're not gonna cause yourself or cause any property damage um, to somebody else's property, or, or of course your own. The last thing you wanna do is to smack your car against a median somewhere in a parking lot and do some tire, wheel, and suspension damage. That's gonna cost you a lot of money and something that I don't think your insurance is gonna pay for. So keep that in mind if you plan on using this mode. Unless you are experienced with spirited driving, drifting, racing, things like that, I would not suggest you do this unless, again, you have a wide open space and if you screw up, it's not gonna cause any damage or cause you any grief. Also, I chose to do this just after a snowstorm because the parking lot is covered in snow. And therefore, I'm not burning up my tires and wasting a ton of money and leaving black marks on the pavement. So with that said, be safe everybody, be smart, and uh, do the right thing. But it was fun, so I can't deny you that. So if you wanna play around, just be smart about it. Have fun everybody. Uh, while I'm cleaning things up and picking up the camera equipment and all that, why don't you guys go ahead and enjoy some Snapple facts and I'll be right back with you. Everybody, welcome back to another episode of Snapple Facts. Let's see what we can learn today. Okay. Snapple fact number one. A bolt of lightning can reach temperatures hotter than 50,000 degrees Fahrenheit, five times hotter than the sun. Holy smokes, literally. <laughs> All right, Snapple fact number two. Here we go. Popcorn was invented by the American Indians. Well, I mean, that makes sense, right? You all remember when the pilgrims came to America? We had our Thanksgiving and uh, corn was a very popular crop for the Indians, so popcorn would make sense that they would have uh, that they would have invented that. So that's fantastic. Well, I hope you all learned something today. I know I did. And we'll see you next time on Snapple Facts. Okay, welcome back from Snapple Facts. I hope you learned something. That's the whole point of that segment in our show. Um, I do want to show you all how to get out of dyno mode. And I also wanted to explain what a dyno is. So if you're not familiar with a dyno, it is a machine that you either drive your car up on or you attach to the hub of the drive wheel and essentially is connected to a computer. You do acceleration runs and what it does is the computer plots your peak horsepower and torque. 
So that's what a dyno is, and that's what this mode is for. This mode is not for you to go out and do um, drifts and donuts in a parking lot, although it is fun. So let me show you how to put it right back in regular driving mode, which is what you want for public roads. You do not want to be driving on public roads in this mode because you do not have any emergency features that you will require for driving on the roads. So let me show you how that works. So the first thing you're going to do is get into your car settings and you're going to go into safety security and you're going to power off. What that does is power off the car. The next thing you need to do is exit out of the car and let it essentially reset itself, come back, open it up, and we should be set to go. Okay, we're back. We still have a warning. Let's check it out. So as you can see here, it says automatic emergency braking is disabled. So that's still disabled. That's normal. Again, this is just my charge port door error. Pay no attention to that. So what we should be able to do is once we shift this into drive, it should eliminate, it should put this back in normal mode. So let's go ahead and give that a shot. Okay. And after putting it in the drive, the only warning I have left is, of course, the charge port door, which I knew about. This car should be back into normal driving. So hope you enjoyed this episode of TM3 Life today. Very different than our normal episodes, but something that I thought that would be fun and exciting uh, to show you all how that all worked. So if you have any questions for me, please feel free to post them down in the comment section below. If you like this video, hit that like button. And if you haven't subscribed now and you feel like these videos could be fun and entertaining, please go ahead and, and hit that subscribe button and the bell notification icon so you know when I posted a new video. And as always, folks, let's keep those batteries charged. Take care.